Hello, girls and boys. Welcome to Storytime Fun. We hope you enjoy it. Today's story is a Berenstain Bears book called The Berenstain Bears Bears on Time, Solving the Lateness Problem. The bear family who lived on a sunny dirt road in deep in bear country was a happy family and a busy family. Their days were filled with work and play, chores and fun, but sometimes mm, it seemed that the more they did, the more there was to do. The cubs, of course, had to get to school on time every morning. After school, they had soccer practice, gymnastics, music lessons, and ballet class. In the evening, they buckled down to do their homework. But they also liked to take a break with TV, video games, and outdoor play. Mama and Papa were just as busy. They had their everyday jobs to do. And of course, well, by the time they were, there were trips to the doctor and dentist, along with visits to the grocery store and hardware store and dry cleaners, bank, and then the post office. Besides all that, they needed to relax once in a while. Papa liked to go bowling. And Mama enjoyed a quick trip to the beauty parlor. All this busyness was causing problems, though. Problems with lateness. The family schedule was so jam-packed that any little delay spelled trouble. For instance, if the cubs dozed in bed too long in the morning or lingered in the bathroom or dawdled over their breakfasts, they were late for school. If Papa lost track of time working in his wood shop at the end of the day, he'd be late picking him up the cubs after school. If Mama got deeply involved in sewing quilts in the afternoon, she might not get to the grocery store that day. <laughs> then there wouldn't be much for dinner. The lateness problem was very much on Papa's mind, and it made him think of one of his favorite passages in the Bible. There is a time for everything and a season for every activity under the heavens. Ecclesiastes 3.1 Hmm, he said to himself. Maybe we need to find the right time for everything, for every activity under heaven. That evening, Papa sat down to read the cubs a Bible story. What story would you like? he asked. The story of Noah, said Honey. I like all the animals with him on the ark. The story of David, said brother. I like it when he fights Goliath the giant. The story of Daniel, said sister. I like it when he escapes danger in the lion's den. Well, said Papa, maybe we can read a story that has an interesting animal in it. A giant one, in fact, and an escape from danger, too. Which one is that? asked the cubs. A story that teaches us an important lesson, explained Papa. Never put off until tomorrow what you can do today. And he opened the Bible to this story of Jonah. Jonah was a man who lived in the Holy Land long ago. God chose him to preach his word in a faraway city. But Jonah did not want to preach in that faraway place. So Jonah disobeyed God. He put off doing God's work. 
He made one excuse after the other excuse, and he delayed and he delayed. Finally, Jonah could find no more excuses. He tried to run away and boarded a ship to go on a long sea voyage where God could not find him. But of course, God knew right where Jonah was, and God wanted him to do the right thing. So God sent a great storm to keep the ship from sailing far away. The ship was tossed and battered in the waves. The sailors on that board were terrified the ship would sink. They began to understand that Jonah was the cause of the storm. He was running away from God. They feared God would sink their ship to stop Jonah. So they decided to get rid of Jonah. They threw him overboard and he sank beneath the waves. Then God took mercy on Jonah and sent a whale to swallow him up and keep him from drowning. Jonah prayed to God from the whale's belly to save him. In my distress, I called to the Lord, prayed Jonah, and he answered me. Jonah's prayer was indeed answered. God ordered the whale to spit Jonah out on dry land. Now, Jonah realized the error of his ways. He saw that God wanted him to do the right thing. Jonah finally went to that faraway city to preach the word of God. Wow! said brother. Putting things off until tomorrow isn't such a good idea, is it? If we delay and put things off and aren't on time, said sister, will we get swallowed by a whale? No, sweetie, said Papa, smiling. I don't think you have to worry about anything like that. After all, said Mama gently, being late for school or soccer practice isn't as serious as Jonah's putting off his duty to God. I guess not, said Sister reassured. But, said Papa, we do have a lateness problem. I've been thinking it over and I have a plan. A lateness plan. Papa's plan turned out to be a big chart labeled Bears on Time. He hung it in the kitchen. It marked off all the times for everything that had to be done every day. It was very pretty with lots of different colors. By following the schedule, the Bear family solved its lateness problem. Now the bears were able to go right on with their busy ways, and they were very happy about that. Well, that's it for today. We'll see you next time.